Gallant stands for Glasgow as a living lab accelerating novel transformation, and it's a research program that's funded by the Natural Environmental Research Council in the UK. It's aimed at helping the city become more climate resilient and achieve its net zero targets. Being able to partner with a dedicated group of academics, bringing us research, expertise and knowledge to our policy making process to make sure that that policy making process is rooted in evidence, and that it's going to have the impact and the outcomes that we want it to have, that was so valuable. How do we come up with solutions that are beneficial for the environment? for people and health and are equitable and how do we also fold the economy into that. We are really focused on using that investment and that intervention to deliver net zero to improve the well-being of Glasgow's citizens. So the Gallant Project is all about achieving sustainable solutions within the city and thinking about the city as a whole system. Our approach is using donut economics, which essentially takes the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and looks at those for the social foundations in terms of all of the things that we want people to have access to, whether that's education, nutritious food, and it basically balances those against the resources that we have in terms of our planetary boundaries. Gallant uses donut economics and especially the city portrait methodology to look at thriving in four lenses. The four lens process asks us to consider climate impacts and social impacts, both locally, but also our impact on climate and people elsewhere through things like supply chains or excess waste. So it's trying to get us to think holistically partnership between Gallant and the University and City Council and C40 Cities is really important. It places the University and the City's action towards climate resilience in an international context. There is the opportunity to join forces, learn together, share knowledge. Community collaboration is at the heart of what we do in Gallant. We have a dedicated work stream that looks to engage with the community, to attract diverse audiences and to actively involve people in community science approaches. We spent the first 18 months of this five-year project just really getting to know people in local areas. We recognised that actually what science traditionally can do is to parachute into places and leave extracting knowledge, not communicating that back to communities. In the next phase that we're moving into now, we're starting a series of 10 community science projects where the questions are identified by the community themselves. What would they like to address so that it's bringing benefits that aren't just about improving the environment or tackling climate change, but also about the social benefits in local places. So what we're trying to do here is to go out to people and recognise all of the diverse knowledge and understandings and recognising that that's of equal value to the knowledges that are held by academics. The unique thing about Gallon is we work together with people who manage and plan the river. So what we do is we collaboratively co-design the solutions to alleviate tidal flooding and also to create co-benefits of that solutions. Why is it so important for Glasgow City Council and other local councils? Is because in these big projects, we are in between the decision-making process. So as a researcher, as an academic, we provide scientific evidence for them to show that which plan that may work or may not work in the future. We kind of democratize what we want for the future of the Clyde. To improve areas along the Clyde for wildlife and people, we need to understand what benefits urban habitats provide for people and nature. Examples from Galland are flood risk mitigation by the salt marsh vegetation that grows along the inner Clyde estuary, or how riparian habitats serve as biological corridors that connect different isolated green spaces. If we improve the elements of biodiversity and green spaces, we're not just improving biodiversity and climate resilience, we are also affecting community well-being, economical sites of the city and active travel. 
I hope the legacy of Gallant will be that we've trained the next generation of early career researchers to be interdisciplinary researchers, work in interdisciplinary teams, and also use systems approaches as the norm. Glasgow has been at the forefront of climate leadership. It's hosted COP26 and has declared very ambitious targets in Net Zero 2030, for example, showing leadership and sharing with others globally. If policy and action on climate is delivered in isolation from the people who it's actually going to affect, then there's a real danger it could fail. So it's incredibly important that people are part of that journey, part of that conversation, and that we bring them with us as much as possible so we can deliver for climate, for society, for people all together.